What's going on, my PT peeps, my Walking Dead family, and my fighters? I'm One Eye Bright, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about Tales of the Walking Dead coming 2022. I believe next summer. So, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead, obviously, but Tales of the Walking Dead, for those who don't know, is going to be a six episode first season. And then maybe we get more episodes if it does well, but it's going to be animation some live action. But before we get to the news information, guys, hit that subscribe button, like, share, subscribe, really just support the PT channel any way that you can. We truly appreciate it. Now, Tales of the Walking Dead is the fourth spinoff. Yes, Walking Dead, Fear of the Walking Dead, World Beyond, Tales of the Walking Dead. Hopefully we get the Rick movies, maybe Michonne spinoff, maybe other shows, but Tales of the Walking Dead is the fourth spinoff. Now you can read this at your leisure if you want to pause it, but one thing I do want to highlight here is Sonequa Martin Green, Sasha, would like an episode of Sasha for Tales of the Walking Dead, and I personally would like to see that too. Again, it's supposed to be six episodes for the first season, and we'll see if we get many more after that. Some could be animated, live action, maybe musicals, I don't know. But again, this goes into much more detail that was said about Tales of the Walking Dead and the Daryl and Carol spinoff. Now I would love an Abraham episode. I would love to see more of Abraham in the Walking Dead universe, especially when he was with Eugene, Rosita, and the rest of their crew. Remember when Abraham met Eugene, saved the day, and Eugene was like, I'm a scientist, I'm a scientist. You have to save the world, right? That'd be a good episode. Carl, I don't think that would happen personally because Carl, well, Chandler Riggs and how it went down with Gimple and he was basically killed off on the show. Now, Shane could be interesting because I would love to see the Shane Lurie dynamic before, way before, just something before Rick came around, but been there, kind of done that. And Shane, John Bernthal is a busy guy. He's also older now, so I'm not sure how that would play off. Now, I know everybody wants to see Glenn because Glenn was a fan favorite. Steven Young said that he would never be on The Walking Dead ever again, but could they do an animated version where he does voiceover work? And that could happen because Steven Young does voiceover work. If you know what TV show this is from, points for you, let me know in the comments below. I would personally love to see more of a Jesus backstory before he went to Hilltop, because that'll be pretty cool. And Jesus got a raw deal. Comic Jesus is way better than show Jesus, in my opinion. Sasha, Sonequa Martin-Green is a character that I think should have an episode, especially if Sonequa Martin-Green wants to do an episode. We could see her before the zombie apocalypse, pre-apocalypse, at the start of the apocalypse with Tyrese, bring them both back. That'd be great. I think it would be great for Tales of the Walking Dead. How about Beta? He's a character we know was Half Moon. He was a singer, a country singer. Why not explore that more and more and more? I think Ryan Hurst would do it. So that's what it comes down to. Would the story, would the actor, would it make sense? Now the Madison stuff is gonna happen. People are gonna be like, Madison's gonna be on Tales of the Walking Dead. They have to do Madison, right? Madison this, Madison that. Fear of the Walking Dead, Madison. It's gotta happen. Or does it? Now, the what if scenarios could definitely happen here. If you saw the what if stuff on Disney Plus for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, The Walking Dead could copy that. What if Andrea never died? What if Glenn never saved Rick? What if this, what if that? Give me some what ifs. Post your comments below, you never know. The Walking Dead could use them. What if Shane never died and he took the place of Rick? He was actually around and Rick died. That'd be pretty crazy. I would love to personally see that. Now. I want to see more about the Civic Republic, CRM, the world beyond is not really cutting it too much. Hopefully the second season does much better for that. But I want to see all three shows connecting in the three rings, the three ring circus right here. Let's get it done somehow, some way, in multiple ways. Now, Morales could be a thing that they do. I could totally see that. Like Morales went away in season one, came back in season eight. But where did he go all that time? They'll probably cover that, right? I don't want to see that, but they'll probably cover it. Now, when they've done stuff like this before, like the origins, the Walking Dead origins, with an episode for each four of these people, it was kind of lackluster. Just like the Althea tapes, lackluster. We didn't really get much out of this. And I hope Tales of the Walking Dead progresses the Walking Dead lore even more. You know, the Tales stuff is cool, but it didn't really do anything. I don't want to see too many unknown, no-name characters that don't progress or involve people that we care about, right? 
Like who cares about any of these people in these tapes because we have enough characters already. And if we're getting a fourth show and then a fifth show, because remember Tales of the Walking Dead is the fourth show and then the Carol and Daryl show is the fifth show. So that's crazy to think that we're getting all these spinoffs. So we're getting a spinoff of a spinoff of a spinoff, which is a spinoff of a spinoff. How about that spinoff of that spinoff, right? Are we gonna get a Michonne spinoff? The Rick movies, are those spinoffs? I don't know, but I really hope Tales of the Walking Dead is interesting. I think it could be great if it's done right. The what if stuff on Disney Plus was really good. Some of the best stuff on Disney Plus for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I hope The Walking Dead does something like that in a way that's entertaining and really worth watching. Let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, stay safe, and as always, tell them Daryl. Yeah, we love you.